you had a, your point of view would have been valid in the 19th century. Your well, point of I view say? is no longer valid. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what I said. But what are you disagreeing with? I disagree that you're saying that you know Zionism and uh, and Judaism have nothing to do with each other. They oh, absolutely yes, okay, do now. Okay. now okay. The fact being that over almost half of the Jews in the world live in the state of Israel today. Okay, that is a reality. That's not a problem. But I believe that Judaism and Zionism are antithetical to each other. They, they, I don't they, believe that at all. No, that's fine. You way. obviously don't believe that, but I could explain why. Yes, the state of Israel is full of Jewish people, but that doesn't mean that what Jewish people happen to do speaks for the religion of Judaism. And now, yes, for the most part, one could say that what the vast majority of religious Jews claim to do speaks for the religion, but being that Zionism was a secular initiative, it wasn't a religious one, we really should make that separation between synagogue and state. Okay, is that what you have a problem with? I mean, I have a problem with people not making that separation. I have the a problem with- is that We have two things working here, okay? We have the Jewish people and we have the land of Israel. When you put the two of them together, there's a particular connection between the two, is there not? Yes, the Jewish people, but that has nothing to do with Judaism. Okay, there's a significance when you put the Jews in the land of Israel. Not that you can't deny, religion. right? There are certain the mitzvot, I agree with. There are certain mitzvot that you cannot do anywhere else but the land of Israel. Is that 100%, correct? Is that 100%, wrong, wrong or false? You know, okay. Yeah, so yeah. there but are, there are rituals that are Israel. that are bound to the land of Israel. Okay, are there not? Okay. Did Rav Cook did Rav Cook not place religious significance to those secular acts of the secular yeah, families of Israel? The exception, by the way. You know, Rav Avram Cohen Cook was the one who started essentially religious Zionism as, as it exists today. He was what's called the Dat Yahid. He started a movement because traditionally the ultra-Orthodox Jews were against Zionism. And he gave birth to what's called Hardal, which is Haredi Dat Hilumi, like a mixture of ultra-Orthodox ultra and Zionism. It's, it, it's quite new in history. Well, yeah, his son, his son kind of started uh, the, the Hardal movement, the mustard movement. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, but you know what, what I'm saying is that I don't. Th I think that it, it attracted so many Jews for two reasons: necessity, because so many Jews are refugees, and B, because Jews saw it as organically intrinsic to their own Jud Judaism, to their own Yiddishkeit. Wait, wait, I don't wait, think wait. that they saw organically it as organically intrinsic idea. to help establish a secular state in 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 the biblical homeland. I support Israel over Palestine, like I support India over Pakistan. Okay, so the, I mean, but this is what's confusing people, is people are 